Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. So a couple of videos ago I actually introduced my black Les Paul Access and I told you guys that I was actually going to restring that and set it up. But before we get to that make sure you smash the like button, you drop me a comment so you can help me out with the almighty YouTube logarithm and make sure you subscribe to this channel like a man if you haven't yet. Okay so let's get to it. A lot of you guys are actually changing your strings every year, every six months or whenever they break and that is not good practice especially if you own a Gibson, because you need to maintain your instrument. And of course, the more expensive the instrument is, the smaller the string investment is going to be in comparison. So yeah, I get it. When you have a $100 guitar and you put $10 strings into it, and you have to set it up by a professional and pay an extra $45, $50 for that, yeah, that's half the price of the guitar. I understand completely. But let me explain something to you. When the guitar is properly set up, it's actually going to be a lot easier for you to play, which means that you're actually going to have better tuning stability. If the action is properly set up, it'll actually be a lot easier for you to play those bar chords. So you'll actually spend a lot more time playing the instrument rather than fighting it. Like I said on a different video, if you only have $100 to spend on a guitar, I definitely recommend get a used guitar so you can get like a $200 guitar for $100. That way you can get a guitar that's valued at $200 for maybe about $100. Okay, so I'm going to explain why it's in your best interest to keep fresh strings on the guitar. Okay, the obvious reason. They feel better. Usually when the strings go old, after a couple of months, and they're supposed to be shiny, that's not only an aesthetic thing. If you see some rust, or if you see the strings getting darker, that means that it's time to change them. Number two, the new string is actually compressed and it's very flexible. That means that it's going to hold tuning stability a lot better than an old string. Because the old string is actually been stretched out and it actually gets in the way by your pick whenever you're plucking it. So the string is actually not perfect anymore. So when it oscillates, that means when it's moving, it's actually favoring one side over the other. And that makes it go out of tune. Also, since they're already rusting, a lot of times they get stuck in the nut. And that'll make it not come back to pitch whenever you bend the string. Number three, they sound dead. I will actually show you on my guitar the before and after change of the strings. So I will play the guitar with the old strings as it is now, and then I will change the strings and play the same thing on the same amplifier settings so you can hear the difference and tell me it doesn't sound way better. Also, very important, if you're ever going to record, you need to have new strings because that actually levels the playing field, which means that if you ever need to re-record something, you just pop some new strings onto the guitar and the guitar is going to sound pretty much the same. If you have three week old strings, five week old strings, it's going to change because of the fact that they age differently. It really depends on how much you played it, where you had it, if you sweated on it a lot or not, the heat, air conditioning, dust. So if the strings are new, next time you pick up the guitar to re-record something or to do overdubs, you put new strings on it again and it'll sound as close as it can. And I actually left the best for last. Number four, probably the most important thing, all electric guitars come equipped with a truss rod. A truss rod is basically a big ass screw that goes all the way from here to the bottom of the neck. And what it does essentially is that it counterbalances the pull from the strings. So you have the tension of the strings pulling the neck forward and then you have the truss rod pulling the neck back. You need to adjust that so that it's straight, meaning so that it's balanced. When the strings start to get old, they're actually going to lose a lot of that pull, a lot of that strength. But the truss rod is still pulling backward as hard as ever. So that can actually bow your neck backward. And since it is wood, if you keep that going over time, it might actually warp. Of course, you can definitely adjust the truss rod, but you don't want to do that every time the strings go old. Because then when you do replace the strings, you're going to have to readjust it to the new tension. That's especially true for the cheaper guitars, because the wood is not as dense, so it's a lot softer and a lot bendier. So yeah, you don't want to do that. See, these are my old strings. They're actually shiny still. If you take a look at the color scheme of the ball ends, you will see that they're actually Daddario strings. And they're still shiny and rust free because they are Daddario EXPs. The Daddario ESP guitar strings are actually coated. They have a thin coating like a lacquer that'll prevent the strings from rusting because they're sealed shut. So the dust or sweat or anything can't get into them. So yeah, they'll last forever rust free. I've seen guitars with two year old strings like these with no rust on them. And that's really good because if the strings get rusted, they can actually get on the frets. And if you need to refret a guitar, you're going to spend a lot of money. I was actually going to restring this guitar with these strings, but I've decided since I'm going to do a comparison, I want it to be fair 
So all things being equal, we'll go from old 9 gauge EXPs to new 9 gauge EXPs. By the way, this video is not sponsored by the Dario, but I actually am a the Dario artist and I got these for free. So thanks the Dario, you guys are awesome. So we can compare the old strings to the new strings and you tell me which ones you like better. Let's get to it. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to drop me a like if you enjoyed the video and share it with your friends if you enjoy the content. That's the best way you can help this channel grow. And of course, subscribe to this channel like a man if you haven't yet. I'll see you guys next time. Bye out, Metal On Dudes.